guys welcome back to the channel cuba will be the first caribbean country to join BRICS. you've heard about BRICS before of course an alliance of countries which are shown an alternative to the u.s dollar or the financial system Re reordering basically the financial system in terms of using the u.s dollar they make a go wrong an alternative that other countries could get business done because you're saying that the u.s is using their dollar as a weapon against many countries with a sanction so cuba has now become the first country in the caribbean rally to request to join BRICS, and this is important information for all of us because cuba has always had an alliance with many of these BRICS countries so let's take a look at what's happening right now we're just saying that cuba sends official request to join BRICS as partner member country more than 30 countries already manifested the wish to be associated with the group of activities or to group activities. Cuba has officially applied to join BRICS group as a partner country. Information was given by the Director General of Bilateral Relations to the Cuban Ministry of Foreign Affairs on Tuesday 8. According to diplomat, the BRICS group has been consolidating itself a key player in the global geopolitics and as a hope for countries of the South, right? Cuba officially requested to join the BRICS as a partner country in a letter to Russian President Vladimir Putin, who holds the presidency of the group, which is establishing itself as a key player in the geopolitics and a beacon of hope for the countries of the South. The BRICS group was or originally formed by Brazil, Russia, India, and China, and South Africa. Since January 1, 2024, Iran, Egypt, Ethiopia, and the United Arab Emirates have joined the association in 2024. Russia will chair the bloc, which is today, of course, now 2024. This year's BRICS Plus Summit is also chaired by Russia and will be held between October the 22nd and 24 in Kazan City. The Russian ambassador to Cuba, Viktor Koroni, said earlier that Moscow hopes to see a delegation from Cuba at the BRICS Summit, considering that the country's president, Diaz Canal, has received an invitation from Putin. On September 12th, Russian President Vladimir Putin declared that 34 states had already reported their desire to join BRICS activities by any form. So this is big news coming out for the Caribbean where Cuba is set or have applied or requested to join BRICS. And based on their relationship with many of the countries in BRICS so far, no doubt I expect them to be fully accepted as a member of BRICS. So it's getting really huge. It's getting huge, guys. Also something happening among the BRICS countries, and I guess we'll hear more about it at the summit, where India rejects a de-dollarization and will use the US dollar for trade. They have been saying that the foreign minister of India confirmed that the country is not interested in the de-dollarization agenda. They're saying that India will use the US dollar wherever it is accepted as a form of payment in the absence of accepting the USD, the country will rely on local currencies, he said. He said the statement comes on the heels of the BRICS summit where de-dollarization will be a major talking point, and I'm quite sure we'll hear more about that. The development basically is a complete U-turn from BRICS initiatives where the alliance is pushing de-dollarization narratives around the world. Sources are saying that India is unhappy with the narrative pushed by its BRICS counterparts, China and Russia. According to sources, India believes China is using BRICS as a stepping stone to strengthen its dominance around the world. Now, I know that this is going to become a problem with these nations because all of them are on the verge of really being key players in the world in terms of being dominant countries. And so China, with its development far gone beyond a lot of them, stands a bigger chance to be a real master key player in this world in terms of finance. So India, of course, is a budding superpower and they're saying, look, if China is going to use this BRICS issue to become an even more dominant player in world affairs, no, 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 we can't allow them to run roughshod in front of us because they themselves are seeking to do that as well. So there is an issue there and I'm sure that that will come up at the BRICS summit. So we'll see what takes place. But as of now, these countries are still with BRICS and it's an alternative to the US dollar. So, but the main thing here is that Cuba is seeking to join. So we'll hear about Cuba at the summit. I will also hear about what, hap what happens with India and what they're thinking about when the summit comes up. So thanks guys, we'll be following this and bringing up more information for you as well.